Loop is the latest earplug company to take center stage in an industry that seems to grow exponentially last decade and seemingly is continuing to grow in this decade. And for those of us in the clinical trenches of hearing health, this is welcomed. Loop has made me realize that with their massive marketing campaign, they are definitely raising awareness for hearing health and they're doing it really quickly. So for that, I say thank you, Loop. They're going to great lengths to reach audiences that have never really been addressed before in the earplug market, like parents or people with noise sensitivity. Loop is normalizing hearing protection for parents and for other populations. And of course, the cool factor is kind of undeniable with their design and style of their social media and the product. Now the nerd in me wants to know, does the product live up to the hype? People ask me all the time what I think about Loop earplugs. So Tuned sent me a pair and this is what I found. By the way, if you watch my how to choose earplugs video, you can learn more about the criteria I use to evaluate earplugs. Objective testing. Objective testing gives us some hard numbers about what the earplug is doing. There is a caveat, I'm doing these tests on my own ears and earplugs will respond differently in different ear canals. That's why I call the review earplugs in real life. First, the seal. If you're not getting a good seal with any earplug, you don't really know what that earplug is doing and it's likely not blocking out as much sound as you think it's blocking out. To measure the seal, I stick a probe microphone down my ear canal, pop the earplugs in and measure how well it seals by looking at how much sound it's reducing in the low frequencies. I also perform a behavioral test, which is the gold standard for verifying earplugs, real ear attenuation at threshold or REIT. Both tests showed that it was tricky to get a good seal all the time. I got a better seal with foam than with silicone and one ear liked the size medium tip better where the large sealed better in my other ear. Two, attenuation or how much sound is the earplug blocking out? A really nerdy term for this is frequency response. An earplug that is said to be even or balanced or high fidelity or high quality should reduce sound the same amount in lows, mids, and highs or bass, mids, and treble. My probe mic tests and REIT tests suggested that when I got a good seal, the Engage earplugs reduced the least amount of sound in the lows, a little more sound in the mids compared to the highs, but then within the highs, things were reduced pretty evenly. So overall, even though it didn't reduce sound as evenly as a custom filtered earplug, it was pretty acceptable. Also, foam tips blocked out more sound than silicone. Three, occlusion effect. Typically, short, stubby earplugs like the Engage are gonna give you a bad occlusion effect. This is that boomy, head in a barrel type of sound that you get from your own voice when you talk, when you block your ear canals with earplugs. It kind of sounds like this. This is the occlusion effect. And this is the one area where the Engage fell short of my expectations. By the way, those are some angry birds up there fighting. Sorry if it's um, loud. Even though these say right on their website that they won't affect the clarity of your voice due to a new acoustic channel, the occlusion effect was definitely strong and present even when I didn't get a very good seal. I measured between eight to 15 decibels of occlusion effect depending on the seal. Subjective testing, physical fit. If the earplug doesn't feel comfortable in your ear, you're never gonna keep it in your ear. So physical fit is really important. Loop, like many earplug companies, says always a perfect fit. It's a little pet peeve of mine because if it doesn't fit, you might think there's something wrong with you. But ears and ear canals are wildly different from each other. And even a generic ear tip like Loop uses may not fit you well. The earplug itself is one of the lightest I've ever worn, which is pretty nice. Sound quality wise, well, there's nothing super special with these per se compared to other popular earplugs. But if you are using them for music, you won't be disappointed because they really don't muffle the high frequencies too badly. And that's typically the biggest complaint with earplugs. The bass is a little bit, um, really it's personal preference. It seems to let in a little bit more bass than I'm used to with my custom filtered earplugs. And when I was evaluating them at loud concert level sounds like 100 dBA, I didn't really like that extra bass. But then when I was listening to music at lower levels, I did like that extra bass. So that's definitely personal preference. Restaurants and conversation. 
I wore these to a pretty loud Italian bar and restaurant and levels at some point got up to 89, 90 dB. The Engage earplugs made everything much more comfortable, but the occlusion effect was so bad that when I was talking, it made it really difficult to keep in my ears. Remember, the occlusion effect will make your own voice sound louder, so you're gonna talk more quietly, and that might make it harder for other people to hear you. So yeah, conversation was pretty difficult. If you're gonna be doing a lot of the talking, these might not be the best for you. Parenting, I found similar things. If I was just kind of witnessing or supervising a tantrum. <laughs> they were lovely. But if I was engaging with my kids while I'm raising my voice a lot, then again, the occlusion effect made it a little bit difficult and I'd prefer my muffs. But also for those parents who feel like wearing muffs is a little bit insulting to your kids, you know, go for it. These are still gonna take the edge off and prevent that child-induced tinnitus. And the ring. For an extra $10, you can purchase the ring inserts, which will reduce sound by five to 10 dB more. And this is definitely true. I verified it and it reduces five to 10 dB more sound. Do you need the ring? If you're playing on stage next to an amp or you're a concert photographer, so exposed to really loud sound, maybe you're at a music festival for days and that's a lot of exposure. Yeah, you might want the ring, but otherwise you probably don't need it because these reduce quite a bit of sound to begin with. You might also dislike it because it looks cool. So if that's your thing, go for it. Overall, Loop is reaching a ton of people with their engaging and cool marketing. And they're normalizing hearing protection, showing us that it doesn't have to be what your dad was wearing 15 years ago. The actual earplug reduces sound pretty evenly for an over-the-counter earplug. It is a little bit difficult to get a good seal, but my tests showed that even with a poor seal, you're still reducing a decent amount of sound. They're really short earplugs, so when you are talking with them in your ears, it's gonna be very hard to um, keep them in your ears because of the occlusion effect. Other than that, it's a tuned approved product. Thank you.